I am in a weird mood as I passionately obsess about Hurricane Milton, which is category five. It dipped down to 897 millibars of pressure, which is pretty dang low for a hurricane. Record breaking, technically, in some areas. And as of right now, it is still predicted to make landfall in or near Tampa Bay. And this video is going to be spooky. So I hope you're an Asteroid Fight Club adult. If not, you shouldn't be watching. There's a shit ton of lightning associated with this thing. Oh yeah, this video will have cussing as well. Like 48,000 strikes in a two hour span. That's a lot. The situation is very serious. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor. I can say this without any dramatization whatsoever. If you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you are going to die. Well, shit, doesn't get more real-life Halloween than that. Mike of Mike's Weather Page, who lives in Tampa, but evacuated his wife and daughters to Tallahassee yesterday, I believe. Monday, 8 p.m., NHC update on Milton, 180-mile-per-hour winds. This is an hour ago. It's now back up to, like, 912 millibars of pressure. But still got about 180-mile-per-hour winds, I think. It's going to ebb and flow, and it's intensity and de-intensity uh, nobody knows how strong it will be at landfall it's predicted to best case scenario um drop down to category three but the winds are going to be churning the storm surge ahead so even if it drops to cat three some areas will probably get the category five storm surge if that makes sense 897 millibars pressure near record low. Milton poses an extremely serious threat to Florida and residents are urged to follow the orders of local officials. All right. Yeah, and right now it is aiming straight in to Tampa. And these days, everybody loves conspiracies or ideas or has opinions on stuff. So I'm a human being. I have opinions on stuff. Hey, this implies a lot of the traffic is green. I don't know if that's true. But so people are saying they control the weather like 100%. And our own government's always trying to attack ourselves. It seems really weird to me. Anywho, what I'm trying to say is see this curve mark here, you know, in Tampa Bay. That may have been from like getting hit by a category five hurricane a thousand times in the processional that is that is, that has been earth like over here all this shit probably got carved out because it got hit by hurricanes thousands upon thousands of times but you, you know you might have had one big one chunk carved chunk out of this and you know this is gonna terraform the land a bit all right, I warned you at the beginning of the video, some of my personal opinions might leak in here. If you can't afford to evacuate, my prayers are with you. Or if, you know, you're just not able physically, my prayers are with you. But like they're saying, you don't have to go hunt, you know, sometimes in some areas, you've only got to go like 25 or 30 miles out of the way to avoid the severest of impacts where there will be 15 feet of storm surge and, um, you know, 150 mile per hour plus winds. Anyway, this is the comment that's been going by Earth and the Sun, A3 Sinchushan. And some people say comets are bad omens. So if you're one of those people who thinks comets are bad omens, then yeah, that might be a sign to leave if you're in dangerous way. I know p people complain about inflation a lot, and uh i just want to say where'd it go is it already gone dang it that screwed up my joke earlier there was a hotel in orlando for 24 dollars. now it's vanished all right now to the super spooky stuff um so before milton like september 22nd i noticed that the gfs had locked in on hurricane landfall around the sixth ish which is the one we're tracking Milton now. 
So now the GFS over two days, eight out of the six out of the eight runs have shown a hurricane landfall in the USA around the 18th. So there's a good chance we're going to be dealing with another hurricane. Anywho, the latest run has it basically hitting Miami. You know, bullet. It hits Miami and then goes over Fort Lauderdale and then it curves in back over like Tampa, Orlando, and then it goes up into like Miramar Destin. That probably won't happen, but you never know. And this is definitely going to be the hurricane season from hell. So content weather guy wildfire smoke from idaho and montana whose fires were fueled by the large canadian prairie storm leapfrogs its way through the central plains and spreads out across the gulf coast states quite an unusual journey we definitely live in unusual times Rebecca Jones double, triple, and quadruple checked it to number of extra tropical systems maintaining tropical storm wind speed and hurricane features through France and into Germany since 1851. Zero, null, zero. By Thor's day, that number will be two. Wait, one. Sorry. Um. So yeah, super strange days indeed, and the weather and atmosphere is lit, and so that. X-class flare from earlier today, they're saying has an earth impacting component. So we're already getting hit by one X-class flare CME, and we might be getting hit by another one. And then you got the comet trying to impress Venus as it swings on by. I have a very friendly relationship with NASA, I'd like to think. And one of the things we disagree on is they're like, uh, comets that come close to the sun don't affect it. I'm like, well, I think you guys are wrong because every time a comet comes close to it, it has a major solar flare or coronal mass ejection or both. And so here is Ashu Chun Chun Chin Chin, A3 Atlas. There's Mercury. And then here's the, the big X class, CME. All right, NWS Tampa, Hurricane Milton evacuation reminders. Heat evacuation orders run from, from the water, hide from the wind. You don't need to go hundreds of miles away. Roads are already congested, so be patient. Plan to be in your safe place by Tuesday night. If you're on the fence <clears throat> and decide to leave at the last minute or over the next few 10 hours, just be sure to check the gas situation on Gas Buddy in your area and whatever path that you would be want to take. And if you think Red Aurora's are also an omen, well, there's a bunch of Red Aurora happening. And remember, it's only been like 10 days since Hurricane Helene. And that did damage that's going to take years to fix, to, and so many lives lost, they'll never be gotten back. Now, Milton is smaller, like the eye is only four miles wide, but it's more like a buzzsaw or a laser. And like I said, it's going to turn up all the waves in front of it it's almost like if tampa bay was a keyhole milton might be the key now the track can shift north or south at any time but it's been saying consistently towards tampa on most models that seem to be locking in but there's still a whole lot of Wiggle and wobble room with 40 hours left to landfall. Wait, what? Maybe I'll just say strange days indeed for the rest of the video. And then there's this thing, which is not Steve. That's strange too. Everything is super epic and biblical right now. So get your prayer game up. You stay cool game up. You defense up. Amen. And if you are middle class, or upper class or super rich pe Florida people class and you decide to leave in the next five to ten hours be sure to take some of your poor friends with you especially the funny ones and your animals your pets friends family all right I'll probably be up all night on the all night shift putting out videos every three or four hours they may be of this quality though so I'm just warning you ahead of time God bless everyone stay cool Godspeed and my prayers are with you